Okay, so first stop at HomeSense, you guys, since I've moved. I have not been to HomeSense since we've lived in Calgary, which is so crazy. There was a big grand opening and the store is so beautiful, it was huge. And the girls are eating right now over there and I kind of wanted to get everything out because they're gonna try to grab all the bags. I also have a big box from Crate and Barrel that came in, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. Uh, but I thought I would get everything out of the bags and show you. You can see I got lots of Christmas stuff and just a few things around the house that we desperately needed. Um, I had some friends make fun of us on Thanksgiving when we didn't have an oven glove, or sorry, an oven mitt, and what was the other thing measuring spoons so got some of those uh anyways i also stopped at canadian tire and just picked up like a few random things but i'm gonna dig in and show you guys what i got first thing i got are these towelettes for the kitchen um so they didn't have many options but i just wanted something that had a little bit like of silver in it for the holidays and gray which obviously is our theme for our whole house so i found those which i thought were nice and um, look at these. My friend said to get the silicone ones because they're really easy to clean. They were $14.99. These are really nice though. I'm really excited. And we haven't had one since we moved in. How embarrassing. So every time we're pulling stuff out of the oven, we're using a microfiber cloth. So desperately needed this and I was gonna order one from uh, Crate and Barrel but I was like you know what I'll wait till the home sense opens by us and check it out so I'm happy that I found those I got some doggy bags for Max these are actually our favorite I really really like these ones and uh, they're not too too badly priced so six dollars for Maxi and also these which I thought were really neat um, so just little snack boxes containers for the girls I think it comes in a set of four or is it three three um, so that was $4.99. Now onto some of the Christmas stuff. I found these ornaments. They're so beautiful. They're glass. And I really wanted to not get anything glittery because we just had a really hard time cleaning up last year. So these ones are just really pretty. They have like, I'll zoom in here, like really pretty jewels and pearls. So I got two sets. And if I do need more, then I will go back and get another set. But these I think were $16.99. Yeah, so a little bit more expensive, but... I think these are beautiful and a nice size too. Next thing I got are placemats. So this one here comes in a set of eight and these just looked really nice to clean and wipe off. And it's hard to tell while I'm filming, but they are kind of iridescent and have like a sparkle sheen to them. So I just thought that would look really, really nice in our dining room and then also go with my theme color, which obviously has silver in it. Uh, so I'm really excited. I'm happy I found one, uh, ones that were this nice because I've been wanting to get some really, really nice. These ones are vinyl, but ones that are just like easy to clean. Look what mama bought. Wow, nay. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, I got this little reindeer and I think this was $16.99, so not a bad price, but it didn't have sparkles or glitter. The, all the other ones had sparkles and glitter, so I was like, I can't do that this year. Um, it's really hard to clean out of like carpet and um, it just got everywhere last year, so I'm really happy I was able to find one just clean and um, that looked like that, so yeah, really, really cute. Okay, so next thing I got right here, this is a tree skirt and look how gorgeous it is up close. It has pearls all over it and my theme color, so I'm really happy about that. And it is larger. Um, we do need a bigger one because we've gotten a bigger Christmas tree this year because our ceilings are much higher. So we went with um, a nine foot and our last Christmas tree was seven. So quite a big... <laughs> Um, jump. Just put that in Max's dog bed for now. This is actually a really cute bed. I got that at home since a few years ago and I still love it. Hope you guys aren't being messy over there. Are you watching mama? Huh? Okay, what else do we have? So these are pretty simple. I wanted them for the basement bathroom, um, but I just thought they were really nice. They're silver and white. This was for the toothbrush, or $10, and then this was $14. Really nice little tray though. How beautiful. I'm so obsessed with this was actually one of the first things I saw and I know it has a little bit of glitter, but I'm like, I will just put it somewhere where it's not gonna touch the ground. But um, I just thought this was really pretty, really festive. Goes along with my theme nice. I love like the little glitter that's on there. It's so pretty and it's just so festive. So really, really happy I found that. So the other thing I love is fur. They had a whole fur section and th these were both like this was under $100. I think that was $30 and I'm not sure where I'm putting them yet. I think I'm going to put this one in the master bedroom like um, where we have the ottoman and our bed. I think it'd be nice just right there. And then this I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, but it's a really nice like off pink. I think it'll look really nice for like Christmas. And last bag. 
right here. <laughs> Last thing right here, it almost didn't fit into the home sense bag, but they stuffed it in there and I had it like triple bagged just in case because I did not want to get it dirty. But this is the Chateau Lux home collection comforter set. So I saw this, I've been, this is for a master bedroom. I have been looking for something really, really nice and festive for Christmas. And I just think this is so perfect. I felt this in stores, it's so nice and soft. It's not heavy, heavy, which I really like because I know Ryan wouldn't sleep with that, but um, it is a really nice, like thinner version uh, than I, the other ones that I have seen, which is kind of why I've never bought one because I'm like, we're not gonna be sweating. Uh, it's just not gonna be comfortable, but this is really, really nice. So I'm happy I got this. It was. I think a little bit expensive, but I mean, this is just something you can always keep and use. So I can't find the, pr oh, it was 129 for this. Okay, so I'm gonna open the rest over here in front of the girls so I can entertain them a little bit uh, while I show you guys this. I know you guys wanna play, but I just wanna show you everything that's in here first. Okay, oh my goodness. So this is all Christmas stuff I bought from Crate and Barrel, my favorite store, not sponsored. I buy everything and I'm just obsessed with everything that they have. Our whole kitchen is basically from uh, Crate and Barrel. So, wow, this is heavy. <gasps> Look at this candle holder, ooh. Wow, this is beautiful. Wow, so festive too. I cannot believe all the flowers are still alive, so crazy. And it's Monday that I'm filming this. My birthday was on Thursday, but really good. Thank you for being good girls. Um, I got this gold uh, spoon here for the bar. Wow, it's really, really pretty. And then, Oh, this right here. Ooh, look at these little Christmas tea lights or little Christmas trees. That is adorable. We have got candles right here, so it'll just go in that. Uh, candle holder, I think I got two of these, but I wanted to get some extras, and it just came in a set of six anyways. And then here's the other one. I got two different sizes, so it can be like that. Wow, those are so beautiful. I am so obsessed with those. What? Ooh! <laughs> They're shocked by everything. Look at these. So these are little Christmas trees. Um, you can put like candy in them or whatever. Just have them as like little festive decor out, which I think I'll put in our kitchen. So I got that nice little set. This is also a nice like gift idea too. And there's two in there. Wow, these are really neat. So these are for drinks downstairs in our bar. I wanted to see what it looked like in person, uh, but now that I've seen them, I love them. I'm gonna definitely get some more to fill our bar. Uh, and you can just make like, you know, mixed drinks in here, cocktails, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice to have for Christmas time. And I do have like a feature of gold anyways down in the bar, so I just thought they would look nice year round. Um, but yeah, okay, whew. Mommy is doing good, now out of breath, but she's doing good. Mommy just put her fingerprints all over it. Um, but <laughs> you just put like a little tea light in there, it's a candle. I thought this would be so perfect for Christmas time, so festive. Yes, honey, I will come get it in one minute. Okay, let's, let's open this one. Let's open this one, okay? Okay, hold on. There we go. Ooh, <gasps> look at these. Okay, I am back. Sophia just spilt her milk, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> wanted to show you guys this. What is this, candle holder? Yes, so we have that white one. Wow. 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 And then this one right here is the larger one, so you just put them like that. That looks really nice. And I got big candles, just like the ones I have in those there, also from Crate and Barrel. Let's put them right there. Also, I got this fake snow right here. I wanna get more of this, actually. I wanted to see what it looks like on our tree, but I think it'll look really pretty. You can also put it, um, I, I saw in some other pictures, like right in here as decor with the little candle. Uh, so that would be really pretty too. So I'm not gonna take this out, but just to show you guys, we have a little pine tree and it comes in a white little holder. That'll look really nice, I think, in the kitchen or the dining room area or fit into like any small little place for decor. Um, but yeah, really, really pretty. And I think I got two of those. I saw two in here, yes. And then I also got these two bowls right here and I just think these are really great for entertaining. We have a light pink one and then also a beige one which I think will go great year round. You can use these for whatever you want for entertaining but they were also on sale which, which I was really happy about. Okay, so that is everything, that's a lot. <laughs> of stuff. I think I have one more order coming in because they separated it, but just to show you guys, there was a different size of the tea light right here. So there's those two. And I think I will put the snow in there. I think that'll look really pretty. All the other candle 
um, holders as well. Super pretty. So many to choose from at Crate and Barrel and the bowl. So I just wanted to quickly guys show you that. And also these ones are all from uh, Crate and Barrel as well, which I really love using these year round. We get lots of compliments on those. And this would make such a cute little gift for Christmas. Also wanted to quickly show you guys these new beanies I just got in from uh, Nomo and Jade from Wolf Fan Collective. We have two of the smaller baby ones. And then also look at this color. It's so gorgeous. It's like a red pink and perfect for the holidays. So that one too. And then the gray double palm. Look how cute that one is. Wow. And we had lots of new stuff arrive. Look at this. We have the Take Me Away set and then also the Boss Babe. These are mixed up right now because I gave some to my girlfriends for my birthday party. A little like gift. Um, yeah, we're on take me away boss babe there's the boss babe so that is the neutral color set and then this one is a light blue it's so pretty and then marble glam this is going to be like a full collection that's why i've done all pink boxes and there's two more out of the collection that will be launching so those i got this really sweet mug baby it's cold outside from hot glam and mary just has the cutest cutest prints and also mugs and stuff so definitely check her out um i still have not unpacked my suitcase from uh, ladies night so mama's night out for my birthday so I have to do that later today <laughs> the other book that came in was this the white and neutral home I really liked it just as a coffee table book so I wanted to quickly show you guys what that looks like you could put it anywhere and then family book and then also at Canadian Tire I just ran in there to get a few things for the girls tree so I'm doing a separate tree for them which will just be the ornaments I used to have in my beauty room I found this focus there we go look how cute so I got two of those they had cotton candy Look at that, because you know the tree, or the tree is going to be pink, white, and gold, so I got one of those, or two of those, got two of those, and this is for our main tree, so we got some sn pretty snowflakes right there. The other place I wanted to check out was Michael's, so um, one more of these, so cute. And then I also got, yeah, one more of those. I usually get two of things. And then, now I don't know if I'm gonna use these, but these beads, I wanna see if it'll look good on the tree. If it looks kind of tacky, then I won't use them, but I'll have to return them, but they look pretty. Yeah. Okay, so I think that is everything. My house is a disaster. I think I'm gonna take the fall stuff down right after Halloween and then get ready for our Christmas shoot. I'm a coming. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to show you guys the hauls and I'll be back on here later. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> Currently watching the girls build a snowman with Ryan right now. I am midway of coffee. Uh, the girls, uh, if you follow me on IG stories, there must be like 20 stories of the girls just going through all my brushes playing this morning. Oh my goodness. They Some days they have so much energy. Like, you guys are watching my stories. It was all them this morning. Okay, I've got mommy's little helpers. I have not all morning. All morning. Snow ready? And now they're in the snow. But I wanted to film this morning. I'm really tired, actually. Um, I still have not unpacked my suitcase from girl or my birthday party on the weekend. And today's Tuesday. But I was on last night with the long call, my manufacturer, and just going over all the new things. Okay, so I just had a package arrive. I think it's for Ryan, and it's so funny. The girls always like hold on so close to Ryan for dear life when they see like a FedEx or like some sort of uh, shipping van come up. They are like not a fan of the mailman. Uh, and he was like so nice, he's just waving to them, but so funny. Uh, but basically why I wanted to film this morning when I look like crap is because I like to get things off of my mind and off my chest when they're still fresh. And, oh, you guys, I, last night it was pretty rough because I had spent so many hours trying to upload that video that I had um, go up which was the Thanksgiving and clearly that's from like two weeks ago and I had already told you guys what happened with the sponsored video I was doing they didn't approve it and it took a while to get approved and um, it put back my timeline on video so that's why I was talking prior to my birthday um, but the amount of hate I got on that video was a little ridiculous and um, you know there's one in specific that I did want to have up on the screen right now like 
just talking about obviously that I like materialistic things there's not much more to me than that and that I'm not actually humble and yada 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 I don't take care of my girls whatever like when people decide to actually take time and write me paragraphs on how much they hate me like come on get a life I honestly cannot just fathom someone taking the time to do that just just don't watch the video or unsubscribe like I've said this many times I don't need I don't need unsupportive people around me whatsoever. I don't have them around me in my life. I don't need them around me on social media. And it's like, and it's it's just funny because I always have my supporters that are commenting. So I really appreciate when you guys come in and it just shows me so much love and compassion and appreciation. So I always see that. And I think that is just remarkable. And that's why I love doing what I do. I have said this since day one, I do not do this for the money. And I have not done a sponsored video in what feels like maybe a year since I did one from yesterday. So it's like when I when I do do one, it's like, how dare you do a sponsorship? And I just, I'm so thrown off because there's people that do them in every video or constantly. And I make, I've, I've said this since day one, I've, I make enough money on YouTube to pay for their diapers and that is it. All of my money and my income comes from me working my ass off from my brand that I've done for the last six years. So it just throws me off because I like talking about things on my channel that I'm interested in. That's why I do it. I do it when I'm not mothering, when I'm not a CEO of my business. I do it because I actually enjoy it. I like to talk about things that I'm purchasing, hauls, home decor, because it's what I've been doing for six years now. And, uh, and, um, Sorry, I'm like a little off track this morning, but I'm just heated, that's why. And I felt like I had to talk about it. And I never talk about like, I always tend to stay very positive unless it's obviously talking about my hair and my alopecia and my journey that I've also shared. And it, that gets me to another comment that I don't share enough. I don't open up enough about my life. For you. Like I've shared my entire life. I've gotten married on social media. I've had two kids on social media. I've talked about everything there is about motherhood and I feel like I chat a lot in my vlogs. I'm literally chatting with you for 40 minutes. So when people say I don't share enough of my life, I feel like I share honestly too much, but it's something I've done for the last six years that I've enjoyed and I've shared so much of my life with you. And it's it makes me joyous 90% of the time, obviously, but there's gonna be hate. There's gonna be people that are just obviously going to come at me all the time, as much as I grow and the more I grow because I'm growing and, um, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm opening up myself to newer people that just have no idea who I am. And it's just funny. And I messaged my best friend, Tina, and she's like, I, you'd have to have such thick skin to be on social media. And she's just like not into social media. And so is Ryan. Ryan's the same way. But it, you need tough, thick skin. Like I honestly used to get so overwhelmed by these sorts of comments and like, how can I, what's the point of doing this? Like, honestly, I go through sometimes moments where I'm like, what is the point of this? But then I remind myself, I'm like, I enjoy this. I love making content, making videos. I've gotten better at making videos from the last few years. And I, it takes so much time out of my day. Ryan knows that more than anybody. It takes me hours to film because I'm filming throughout the day vlogging as you've seen. And I have long videos. I don't have 15 minute videos. I have 40 minute videos. So, I mean, there's a huge difference with that. I can make 10, 10 minute videos and talk about whatever it is that you want me to talk about, but I enjoy making longer vlogs and chatting with you. And I like showing things like handbags and things that I've worked my ass off to pay for. I don't get those things for free. I pay for them with my own money. So it just throws me off, like I said, a million times. But when people get upset or mad, it's like, don't watch it. If you don't like designer things, if you don't like my closet, if you don't like my house, don't watch my channel. Like, ugh. Anyways, sourness in my in my mind today, this morning. Wow, they are making the biggest snowman of life. <laughs> uh, but I just, I wanted to talk about it because it does get irritating and stressful. And it's like, I've lost half my head of hair, 90% of my hair. And it's like, I don't need to think about these things when I have so much other things that I'm thinking of 24 seven. Like I was up till two in the morning working on my brand, new products, new launches. I have three new launches in the next, month and I'm constantly on my toes with the girls like I'm a mother 24 7 so when I see people appreciate what I do it really means a lot because I work uh 24 7 24 7 and 
I prioritize certain things in my life, like my girls. So, you know, I don't have time to do other things like podcasts. I know there was someone asking for me to do podcasts so I could be more engaged with my followers, but I only have time to make videos because I enjoy them. This is what I like. I want you to be able to see me and I don't want to do a podcast where it's just like my voice. I, I like doing things around the house with you. I like showing the girls. I like like it would take a lot of time and effort for me to do that and I just don't have that time now. I'm managing a full-time business. It is a lot of work. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to come on here just to say thank you to all my supporters again because you realize what I do every day. I shouldn't have to re-explain how hard I work because you guys already just know. I'm sure any mom would know, wow, she's making videos that are 40 minutes long two times a week and I'm trying my best to do two times a week while managing two kids. Not easy. And even though I have Ryan's help, he knows it's like, it's a two person job. And as tired as I am, as much as I look like crap, I just, I like to get these things off my chest. So I'm not constantly thinking about them. And I'm not gonna re-mention this, but it's just something I wanted to talk about because it's just a constant reminder, like in my mind that like people do think I'm materialistic and that like I care for only designer handbags and, um, I'm also taking care of an entire family, so you also have to realize like I like to enjoy things I buy stuff for Ryan's garage constantly all the time and he appreciates it. He loves it That's his manhood like he's in there for six hours a night because he loves it and I'm never like don't do that blah 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 He loves doing that and I love my designer goods. I love makeup There shouldn't be anything wrong with that <laughs> so you know and um, Yeah, anyways, I just had to talk about that this morning. Uh whole different thing I'm gonna talk on IG stories in a second here but also another girl has copied my brushes I know this has happened in the past I don't know why I was getting dark there but um, I've had this happen in the past if you guys been following my journey for six years now you know that there was another incident where I was showing this girl's product line and I guess I wasn't showing it enough so she actually did it out of hatred like to copy my brushes so it's happened again and I had so many followers yesterday message me and I just find and it was actually two brush sets that I showed in my last house when we before we moved and it was two brush sets I said I was planning on launching and it was a sneak peek I only show sneak peeks but I didn't end up launching them because I just started working on newer things that I liked more so I know it's one of my followers and I know it's someone that has it out for me which is just I don't even have people out for me in my normal daily life. Like it's really funny to me because I don't know where there's a jealousy. I feel like I've shared enough of my life to not be jealous. Like it's just, it throws me off sometimes when people get really upset and jealous because I share so much of just my actual life where it's like, I feel like there would be no need to be jealous. And if anything, like I've loved sharing my journey on how I've gotten here because I used to have no money like this did not come from like I was not given my business I started my business from a passion and from just loving what I do so it yeah I mean people can steal my twin jewels and do that if they want but at the end of the day my followers and you guys obviously know when that started how that started and my twin jewels I mean when my girls were born, it just made so, I'm like, I felt destined. I was like, okay, hey, this design, and now I have twins. Like this is, it was meant to be, it really was. My brand was meant to be, my girls were meant to be, and it's just like glue, you know what I mean? So it just, yeah, when people take that, it's just get your own ideas, like get your own, like just do your own thing, be original. I don't know why someone wouldn't want to be original. I wouldn't want to like be like, oh, I'm going to steal this and take this from someone and like say it's mine. Like I'd rather have my own thing and be proud of myself. Like why do that? And like, I just, yeah. Anyways, mommy rant this morning. I'm really sorry for just like obviously ranting this morning, but I just wanted to talk about it. It has to get off my chest because I work so goddamn hard. It's actually... At, at times I'm like, why do I do this to myself? Like why it's, you know, I'm trying to get my hair regrowth and like obviously it's like, don't stress. And I try to do things like just, you know, when the girls go to bed, I try to just be calm and like relax, but there's just so much unnecessary things that I go through that just don't need to be there. And I don't need to see it. It's like, if you guys have a paragraph long on why you hate me, just 
keep it to yourself don't you know you don't need to do that because i do block and delete the comments like i do have to read it and i have to go through it and it's kind of like exhausting at times so um anyways update on my hair i have my injections tomorrow so uh they didn't work as well i don't know why i'm honestly gonna tell her i don't i don't think she used enough because the first time i got it like my scalp bled and this time it didn't bleed so i just i don't know if she put enough but this area here I'm starting to lose the hair again here. This side's okay. Um, I mean, yeah, it's still through here that I have, like, it's up here. So I would like her to do some injections up here, and then this side is obviously, I still have, like, the big ones here. But, yeah. No, I just, ah, I'm like, grow back, please. But it's been really dry here, so it's hard. I've been trying to use, or er, trying to use new products. So one thing, too, they say, like, don't, like use so many different products don't switch it up but i haven't found something that's actually worked so um and it's obviously really dry in calgary so i am trying <laughs> i'm trying um but i mean for those of you that have alopecia like i've just wanted to obviously find things that can help you as well so the injections did work for me the first time i just think she didn't use enough so i i think that was the problem i'm gonna ask her if she can use more and then keep you updated and let you know how, how that's working for my hair but uh and obviously like a trim like just get your hair trimmed and i think that's been a great thing when my friend was here she trimmed my hair so uh anyways i am gonna be productive today i have a lot of stuff that i need to organize and i do have hauls in this video there's a lot of hauls i did a home sense haul yesterday and uh which i haven't been since we've moved so i just wanted to see the new store that opened up with my friend tina and uh, we went there and then I ordered stuff from Crate and Barrel. So this year I wanted to do a home tour for the first time, a Christmas themed one, because that's been the most asked video since we've moved, but I've just wanted to fill it and get everything. And we just obviously haven't done that yet. There's the bonus area that I still have to buy furniture and just some other areas in the house we have to fill. But uh, I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I cannot wait to see the girls' faces. I wanted to do something special for them because they're so active this year and like they actually know what's going on. I feel like last year when they were like one, it was like a huge difference. They didn't really know as much. And now it's like I they get so excited for everything. So I'm like, I want to do a Christmas tree for them. So the one I had in my beauty room is going to be their tree. And I bought them really cute pink ornaments and uh, for the tree down here, I don't want to give away my whole theme. I think some of you know silver is in there because you guys were like, you got a lot of silver. So yeah, that is one of the theme colors. Uh, but I can't wait to make it just like super holiday and festive in here. And I also have uh, the family shoot. So once I have that, the video will be up on this channel. Um, plus, I love talking about where I got everything from. So sorry, I'm losing my voice now just from talking so much. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much and um, I honestly do this because of you. Don't ever forget that. Like I love talking about things that I enjoy because there's so many of you that enjoy the same things and like I've made so many friends that are subscribers and people that I know by name. Like I think people get shocked that like, oh my God, like you know me by name. Like I, I see you, I see all my comments, I see everybody. And it is something that I care about so much. That's why I take hours out of my day to respond to you. So when people are like, oh my God, she, she responded. Like they get shocked because you know, not, not everyone does that, but I think it's really important. I've said that in like my social media branding video that, you know, on the tips of just when you have your own brand, I think that's the first key is commenting like, you have no following, you don't have a brand unless you're, I think, communicating with your following. I think that's the most important thing. But anyways, I am going to clean up uh, and do things around the house, but I will be back on here later. Thank you so much for listening to my rant. If you got through this entire rant, I appreciate you, thank you. Sometimes mama bears just have to do this and get things off their mind. And I wanna be vocal, I wanna speak about things like this because they do irritate me. And I just need a fresh, mind <laughs> um but again if you're not liking my content please just unsubscribe i don't need to hear it i try to share as much as i can with you and if you're you know if you're missing me throughout the week add me on instagram honestly i am on instagram every day so please go follow me on there 
Um, but I will be back in here later, you guys. Since I do have everything out right now, I am trying to organize all of my brushes. I've had a few requests to do some videos on going through all of the brushes, the 10 pieces, and the Boss Babe and Take Me Away. So I'm actually going to do that this week. I would love to do that and kind of talk about them because they're more artistry sets, uh, which my friend Jen was so excited about because she's a full-time makeup artist. But um, there are a few brushes in there, like the angled eyebrow brush that you can use for liner or brows and um, a few other brushes that are more artistry but I also have all of my brushes here I have ooh, a few new designs in there <laughs> that are mixed up um, but I also yeah I, I try to get everything organized in here because I take so many photos and I use them for Instagram and I do take a lot of my photos myself besides Aaron like the professional ones um, need to organize these and I have all of the sets in here so I'm gonna do giveaways in my next two videos and we are getting into holiday stuff my mom actually sent me a gift card to Sephora she'd be so mad if she heard this but I bought all gift sets for giveaways so I just wanted to do something special and I would have bought those anyways myself um, but there's nothing I need right now I, I just bought some stuff at Sephora myself so anyways lots of new giveaways coming so excited cannot wait for these bad boys to launch and these bad boys. One other thing I wanted to remind you, I do have a coupon code. It'll be down in the description um, if you guys want 15% off your Wolf Fan Collective beanies. Honestly, the girls and I live through these. This is not sponsored. It's just uh, two of my friends that work their asses off to make really good product and they're full-time photographers and they love doing this in the winter. So I am 100% supporting them for the rest of my life because I just, these are not joking, the mo best quality beanies I have ever tried and I've bought them so many um you know i'm the beanie queen <laughs> hello mr snowman can you guys see the snowman right there hello <laughs> there's my beautiful angels <laughs> it is the next morning but i did want to quickly show you because i got around putting these in here how stinking cute are these look so you put the little tea lights in here and then uh what i saw on their website uh they put the snow, like you put the snow, the fake snow right in here and it just looked so festive and so pretty. These are the cutest candle holders I have ever seen for Christmas. So really happy with those. Uh, what else did I open? Yeah, I, th or I still need to open a few other things, but um, our kitchen is a little bit of a disaster right now. So we obviously, Ryan had a boys night when... Um, I was with the girls, so he did have some guys stay over with their kids, so um, the house was just obviously, like we have not cleaned the house in like three, four days. And I have all my gifts from my friends right here, which I did wanna quickly show you guys. So um, from two of my friends, they got me the Drunk Elephant. They know me so well, and I have been talking about Drunk Elephant so much, so I'm excited to try out their body cream and some other products. Let me know what you love from them. I love their mo moisturizer. Their face moisturizer is so good um my friend got me a marble cutting board because when she was here for thanksgiving she's like steph where are your measuring spoons where is your like your oven mitts and th there was just a lot of stuff we didn't have so uh yeah she ended up getting me a cutting board and then uh the spoons are in here <laughs> so i'm really happy i bought that and i sent her a picture of the oven mitt i bought so she's really proud of me um, <laughs> honestly, you guys, it's sometimes just like, I'm so busy with the girls that those things are just so little to me. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I should have definitely got one. Look how gorgeous this tray is. My friend Kat got me this tray. It's, I think, going to go in our master bathroom. I think it would look really nice in there. And then two other things she got me. Um, so for hangover, electrolytes. She got me a little packet because her husband's like, give this to Steph. So I had it. I think that's what made me survive that night. But uh, she got me this bottle here, which is really cute, the little S bottle. And then the jewelry she got me. Okay, precious. Like, you guys, hold on. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, so it says me and Sophia on here. Anything engraved I am, like, in love with. And, oh, I cannot wait to wear that bracelet. That was just so precious. And I also posted it on IG because it was just anything custom. Like I just, anything with their name on it. Okay, I can't open it. <laughs> I also got mama earrings. So right here, uh, these are really adorable from Stella and Dot. So she got me those. And she wrote me a really um, sweet card. And it's such a cute birthday card. So I love that. Just so sweet. Um, 
yeah so that's that's everything i got for my birthday i did pack so the girls used the boss babe brushes and i had to put them in a bag because um i had my makeup stuffed in here this is my new case that will be launching so i brought it with me and also this insert i linked the exact one i got uh, i believe it's large so i mean i love it it's such a great insert and i brought this bag here which is the little diorama bag which was really cute and then the girls just have stuff everywhere some clothes some toys <laughs> Off the phone from my Zoom call, I'm actually just taking some product shots of the new brushes. Look how cute too, in my new mug. Uh, so these are the perfect holiday brushes. Like, look how gorgeous. They remind me of snow. Good morning. Uh, it's the next day now. It's Wednesday. I look the same though. <laughs> Uh, coffee again. Ryan is taking the girls to Costco right now. I just slept this morning. I could kind of get some work done and I have my injection shots today. Um, but I wanted to fill you in on what happened yesterday because like, oh, toxic, toxic. I just, I don't, I didn't even get in high school drama and this is just like high school drama that I don't want to deal with. And I speak my mind. I always say, speak your mind. If you're you know, feeling a certain way. I think you should address situations and talk about situations when you're upset. That's exactly what I did. So I talked about um, the, the page or the girl that had created the brushes that looked identical to mine, my designs, and I spoke to her. And after speaking to her, I found out a little bit more of the story. And she did tell me um, my manufacturer was basically like, there was replica sets that she had purchased of my designs. So I said, well, I reasoned with her and I said, okay, like, I understand that. I said, I understand, like the words understand all throughout my conversation. And, you know, I was basically saying to her, if like, I'm still upset, I'm still upset this happened. And um, even though my manufacturer had replica pages, I said they are like, I'm, I'm pissed at them, which I was, and I made it very clear to my manufacturer and they took all that down, like all of that is gone and down. So I'm kind of happy this happened in the first place because obviously it was my manufacturer's fault as well, as much as it was hers. Um, but that's besides the point, it's moral and respect. So she watches my video, she knows who I am and I don't care when it happened, if it was after she made the purchase. I told her, I said, if you would have connected with me, I would have gladly talked to my manufacturer, had them remake brushes of your own designs. I would have done that, no problem. And I think because I have such a huge, and I, all my followers know this too, I have a huge respect for my own product line because I've, I've literally started this six years ago. And she said, there's enough business out here for all of us and you know we should all have the right to do this. And I understand that. I'm like, I've made videos of how to start your own business and I'm all for supporting, but don't like, don't replicate my designs. And then she was like, well, you didn't make these designs. And what threw me off about her, which I saw was very toxic, she made a page basically just hating on my designs, hating on me, showing, oh, look, you can buy this off Alibaba, blah, blah, blah. How toxic is that? Like, you just don't do that. So I'm like, no, I'm like, okay, you are blocked. This is not good for business. This is not good for me. Like, I'm like, I don't like drama. And she's like, you're the one that started the drama, blah, 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 by mentioning it. I didn't start any drama. Like I said, exactly how I felt. And A, you don't do that. B, you do know who I am because you follow all the people I follow. And she also said, I've never seen your brushes. You follow Sharla, you follow other girls that post my brushes all the time. So yes, you do. And I was talking to Rhoda on the phone about this. She's like, dude, she knew who you what, like who you were. She's just saying that. And I'm like, it's okay. Like I just wait, I wanted honesty and openness. That's all like just own up and say not once did she apologize or like, you know, or she did apologize, but in the wrong ways, like, but and I asked her if she could just create something else, like not with my design. And basically she said no, because I've already paid for all this, which I said, okay, like I understand that. I just, you know, this is why I'm upset. That's what I said to her. And there was just no reasoning, no understanding and end of story. I'm just like appalled that she made this extra page with some name and just to say, oh, look, uh, she thinks she's a YouTube star and made all these designs. I was like, Kate, hey, I'm, a, a mom, don't have time for this. I've been changing diapers all morning and B, I'm, I have so many other things going on. I, I can't even revolve my time around this. So five minutes of fame, gonna talk about it, release and feel better. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ryan's listening to me this morning. And then he tell, she tells me that the macarons, or when she sent me the picture, I think it's the macaron set. And she's like, ha, huh, you think these are your designs? Look, they're sold on Alibaba. They're not your designs. Actually, they're my designs, but no, they shouldn't have been on Alibaba to begin with. And they're not anymore. They're taken down. Um, but I clearly remember making macarons that is actually for the Ipsy event. And Ryan helped me out making the Pantone colors. So 
I did not only make that set, so did Ryan. And um, it's just funny when people try to say, no, these aren't your designs. And I mean, my manufacturer was in the wrong, 100%. I showed, like I showed, I was very pissed and said, I can go to anybody else. I've been with you for six years, but that's fine. I can go, and I think you should say things like that because no, nobody should do that to you. So they took everything down. She actually didn't even know it was happening because she said there's thousands of employees, which I do believe. Okay guys, so I apologize. I am back and I can't remember where I was in conversation, but um, I know I talked about it on Insta stories briefly and the whole moral of the story is just things like this can obviously happen. It is a bummer and I wish it never did. Um, but obviously it's a learning lesson and I think no matter what, just continue to be who you are and um, keep your inspiration high, keep doing what you're doing. So that is what I wanted to say, but it has been quite the week. I just got my hair injections and I look like absolute crap right now, you guys, but you can just kind of tell where I had just gotten it. So just in here and it it hurts this time because she did more so it burns my my oh, my scalp. But um I just wanted to show you. I got a Sephora haul and this is not for me, this is for you. And I wanted to get all the new sets. So this is gonna be a part of my giveaway. I'm still trying to get some other stuff for because I want to have more than one. Um so I can have one, more than one winner. But I've got that set from Too Faced. I got the lip injection set. I got the Fenty Beauty gloss set as well. Look how pretty these are. I am obsessed with Fenty Beauty glosses. I got some um, Proteiny moisturizer because I def definitely need that. Why do I have two? That's strange. I didn't remember ordering two. Um, but yeah, some Tatcha. I got the beauty oil again and some other little random things. I think that were like little gifts or when you, from 100 points. But anyways, I have all that. This just came in the mail, so I wanted to quickly show you guys as well. This is not sponsored at all. Um, I have worked with chat books in the past, but I buy all of their books, and I'm so sorry I don't have a code right now. I wish I did, but these are like honestly so inexpensive to make anyways. I think this one cost me around $30, and this is the one that you guys saw in my last vlog, but look at the fall one that just came in. Oh my goodness. And this one is less high quality compared to the girl's second birthday, but still amazing. Like if you're looking to try it out, try just one of these books and I'll link it down below on the link to chat books, but download the app on your phone because if you have it on your phone, you don't have to do anything. You click all the photos from your phone or on your Instagram and it instantly makes a book for you. Look at that. So precious. The quality is so amazing too. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. Burning a sweat. Other thing here, we have their costumes. I did want to keep it a secret, but I'm too excited. Since I think when I upload this, Halloween will be the next day. Um, Cinderella, the girls are going to be Cinderella. So their little outfits came in. Look at this. Oh, so princessy and cute. I actually really like the quality too. I'm surprised because it's just from Amazon. And then we got the tiaras because of course you need tiaras. We've got the gloves headband as well. So you could either do one or the other because I think I got, um, or yeah, the other tiers I showed you, or you can do the headband and then also the wands. So let's pull this out so you guys can see. Let me know what your kiddos are being for Halloween this year. This is it right here. So a little wand, it has like a little tiara right there. It's so princessy and it just reminds me of like my childhood. This is what the package looks like when it comes in the mail. Uh, so little adventures, but I just got it off Amazon and they were great prices. So I was really happy about that. Um, but yeah, those are their outfits and I just wanted to quickly show you. And I think that is it in today's vlog. Honestly, I feel like I've been doing a lot of vlogging the last uh, couple of days here. Um, but yeah, I showed you everything I want to show you and I'll be working on all the Christmas content and Christmas stuff coming up, which I cannot wait for. Also, a few new things came in for the girls just now, so I got them, <laughs> there's stuff everywhere, but um, I got them this book, The First Hundred Words. This is actually, can we focus? There we go. So this book is really nice for them to learn, um, you know, what the images look like. And I just really like this book. That's a great learning book. And then I got them like a little nano pad. So when they click on things, it says what it is, which I think will be fun. Link it down below. And then um, the other thing I just got in the mail is this. So I'm waiting for the vase to come in, but look how pretty that is. Just thought that was really nice. It's kind of like something you can have year round too, not just for like Christmas or fall. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for the vase once it comes in. I'll show you guys what that looks like. I just got a plain white one, but 
just some nice ah, decor and still have all my Christmas stuff here. <laughs> so please let me know in the comments down below what I can add for some holiday giveaways. If you've seen like a crazy nice set, please let me know. It'll help me out. I'd like to get it organized so I can start um, doing some pre-Christmas giveaways in November. That's usually when I like to do it. Um, so I'll have lots coming, but I'm going to keep an eye out for other stuff, do giveaway or gift card giveaways, which I love to do. But yeah, that is my vlog today. I know I had a little bit of uh, rants in there too. So I just really appreciate you guys watching and enjoying my videos and content and thank you guys again for all your support all your love and all just the sweet comments you send my way it's why I love what I do and um, it's very enjoyable for me 90% of the time and I just wanted to say thank you so lots of giveaways coming lots of new launches coming I have some sneak peeks going on on my Instagram so make sure you guys go check that out but I hope you have a fantastic Halloween and please let me know what, uh, what you're dressing up as or what your kids are dressing up as as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.